get to be a veteran, you want to train smarter, not harder, because you've already trained hard. That's why you've gotten to where you're at. And then it, it becomes like about protecting your body and preventing injuries and protecting old injuries. Um, so, but I, I do like the energy, you know, of people like these young fighters who, who want to work hard, who come to the gym every day and want to grind. So that's always what I've always been about, is just the grind and working hard. Um, so yeah, I love the energy. I love how like every day, you know, there's like a mutual respect for everyone. Every day after practice, everybody like, I have the job, knuckles, knuckles. Like everybody just has like, I think you, you have to have nothing but respect for people who all want the same goal, but aren't lazy about it. Are like really like putting in the time, putting in the work. And it makes you push harder too. Because for a while, like when I was training with all veterans, which is good, you know, obviously, like I said, there's a time and a place to train smart and technical. There's also a time and a place to grind. I know you guys will see me again soon. Um, I'm sure you know I've been recovering from two knee surgeries, uh, two major knee surgeries with the ACL and meniscus. Um, and the only thing is, I feel good to go. I've been working really hard to like push through everything at the level that I'm fighting at, with the people that I'm fighting at, with the competition that I'm fighting with. Um, I need to make sure that like, my knee feels strong, it feels stable. I have not only physical endurance to go for five minutes, but muscle endurance to go for five minutes. You know, my knee has to get strong. Um, I think a lot of people don't realize that like, tendons, are different than a broken bone. A broken bone, which I know, I broke my arm three times. A broken bone kind of heals on its own. You rest it, take your cast off, it's pretty much there. You don't have to do much to get it back to where it was. But with ligaments and tendons, you have to work hard. Like, you have to strengthen them. And sometimes you hit these bumps in the road where you're like, oh, I have inflammation. I gotta take a step back. I gotta take a day off. So I'm training as hard as I, I physically possibly can, but sometimes rest and recovery is a part of the healing process as well. You know, then like you get tight, like because you have lack of mobility, you gotta work mobility. Oh, now I'm tight in my hamstrings, now I'm tight in my hips. Now I gotta work on my flexibility. <laughs> There's just so much that goes into like ligaments and tendons, people don't realize. <laughs> Now it's just figuring it out. I gotta do a little bit extra every day. I gotta roll out a little bit more, work out my scar tissue a little bit more, work out the areas that are tight. Um, but it's my job, I am a professional fighter. <laughs> this is what I asked for.